Cut Welker with Neil Systems, and uh, I'm going to show you how this landfill gas flare operates. So, this is where the gas comes in from the uh, well field. This gas is drawn up through this pipe. It comes into what we call a knockout tank. This separates any moisture. Any moisture that collects in here drops down and comes out through this drain goes back into the vacuum part of the system. The gas then comes up here. The gas is drawn through this pipe into the suction of the blower. This is the blower. It's actually rotating and it's a centrifugal blower. It's pushing the gas, pulling the gas from the landfill, pushing the gas in this direction. The gas comes down this pipe comes over. This is a thermal mass flow meter. It's measuring the gas flow rate in cubic feet per minute. The gas comes over, goes through this pneumatic valve. The valve opens when we run the flare. It's closed when the flare is shut off. The gas then comes down through this pipe. The flame arrester. This prevents any flame from getting back into the pipeline. Gas comes up through the pipe, up through the stack, and burns at the top. And here is a transformer that's used to fire an igniter up top. There is a uh, spark plug basically up there that fires start to flare up. There's also a thermocouple up there. This line goes all the way up and uh, measures the temperature of the plane. Okay, go back over to the control panel. This is a nitrogen bottle. The nitrogen is used to open the, the valve. So this is the control and you can see that. This is uh, this is the splash screen that shows the manufacturer of the controls. This is the main screen. We have a line that tells you whether the flare, what the status is in on the flare. The igniter, the gas valve, open or close, the blower on or off, and whether there's a flame or not. This is measuring the temperature of the flare. This is how many times the flare has tried to restart. And this is the flow rate from the flow meter. The next screen, you can set it to local start or remote. In this case, they're only using local. But if they wanted to, they could start from a contact closure from a remote location. The next screen is the blower control. You can go in auto, off, or in hand for testing. This is the blower speed, 20% right now. I'm going to change that to 50%. And then the next screen is where you set the temperature. This low temperature set point is for the confirmation that there is a flame. When the flare first starts up, the temperature is going to go up. When it reaches 150 degrees, the igniter will shut off. If the flare drops down below 150, it will shut the flare off and try to restart it automatically. This is the flow rate. When you first start up, the flare is looking for flow. If it doesn't see at least 50 CFM within 10 sec within 30 seconds, it will shut the flare off. 
and try to restart it. And that's it for the screens. So when I go into a start mode, I'm going to press the start, and you'll see it's in the startup mode. In a second, you'll see the igniter will start, and then the gas valve will open and the blower will turn on. And now we're waiting for the temperature to come up. It's got 60 seconds to reach 150 degrees. If it doesn't, it will shut down and try again. I'm going to stop it. Anytime you hit the stop button, you have to reset it to start it again later. The other uh, setting here is I can go in here and I can see the alarms. There's a history of all the alarms here. This flare will try to restart four times. If it doesn't restart in four attempts, it will shut down and lock out and you have to reset it and try it again. Out a little bit you can see the, you can turn the power of the panel off or on this is when the flare is actually operating that'll be green solid if it's trying to relight that'll flash telling you it's trying to relight and if the flare shuts down this will light up and that's it thank you very much